Today we're going to test the 375. Today we're going to be testing the 375, a member of the Adamas family. Okay, so let's get started. No knife demo is complete without some cut testing. The 375 is made out of a solid piece of D2 steel, so we're going to go ahead and sail through all these materials. We'll do a few pieces of leather as well. It's not going to pose any problem for the uh, drop point utility style blade. Of course we have the ever popular rope cutting. And some natural manila rope as well. Selection of smaller, uh, thinner pieces of material. Here's some baling twine. Some 550 paracord. I'll do some quick chopping cuts in this stuff. Found some interior lamp cords. We're going to go ahead and cut that up. Poses no problem. A chunk of reinforced rubber tubing. I actually forgot to unravel the telephone cord before filming, so we're just going to cut through uh, all of them. And we'll uh, slice through a piece of packaging foam. Now I wouldn't call it factory shaving sharp, but it does manage to pop a few arm hairs off. Not as much as I would have anticipated. Now let's go ahead and test the uh, tip strength. I'm going to do some uh, impact here. Now as I stab this in, you'll see that I'm uh, prying laterally. I'm actually trying to snap the tip off. Now I'll consider any tip fracturing or rounding uh, to be a failure at this test. Now I will stab and pry with and against the grain during this test. Now I thought for sure I had the tip right here, but uh, no, it holds up pretty well. So being very happy with the tip performance, I'm going to go ahead and just chop on the edge of this block anyway. Now while chopping out this wedge, I'm looking for any deformation of the uh, cutting edge, any rolling, chipping. And upon inspection, there is no damage to the 375 at all. Now to show that this knife is not purely tactical, Tracy and I decided to do a couple tests to show how utilitarian it can be. We've had several people ask us about bow drilling. So we thought it'd be fun to try and uh, set this up in our lab. So I'm using a piece of this supplied paracord. I realize I'm not holding the spindle and I'm not using a bow. But if you've got a Tracy to help you, I highly suggest it. There is apparently a don't start fires in the lab rule, so we're going to take the fun outside. Here you can see the 375 is more than adequate for doing some light tree limbing. Marshmallow stick collecting maybe? To show that this knife's not only tactical but versatile, we decided to make a small campfire. Unfortunately, we're not down by the river or one of the beautiful lakes in Oregon, but uh, in the back of our parking lot. But the 375 has no problem making kindling or shaving tinder. Here you can see Tracy working diligently on her little tinder pile. So to continue the tip strength testing, we're going to dig a small fire pit. Tracy's going to do a great job testing the tip of the knife. But she's not going to make much progress with this little pit. What I didn't tell her is she's digging basically into solid asphalt buried under the dirt. You could 
very concrete in here. Smart girl, she figured it out pretty quick. Okay, let's dig a hole in the little uh, rocky earth we got back here. As you can see, and certainly here, there are a lot of rocks that uh, this blade's going to be punching into. But the 375 does a great job. So we split all the kindling, we've made all the tinder, let's uh, try and get this thing to light. As you can see, the 375 has no problems working with a fire starter to throw a spark. So once again, I just want to reiterate, it's a great tactical knife, but it's also a good option for those of us that enjoy the outdoors. For someone that wants a strong, thin, lightweight utility fixed blade. I think it's a pretty good example how this knife is not only tactical, but also very utilitarian. So, Tracy and I are back in the lab, and we'll uh, check out the damage to this thing. As you can see, digging in the ground certainly rubbed off a little bit of the coating on the tip. The D2 steel is very tough, but let's be honest, I mean, you're jamming it into rocks, nothing's going to really hold its cutting edge. There are no chips or any deformation, however. But it is pretty dull. Certainly the Benchmade Life Sharp warranty would uh, get that taken care of for free. In addition to the sheath and a tech lock, the 375 comes with enough paracord to wrap the handle. There are of course a lot of different methods for wrapping the handle. You can scan the QR code in our catalog to take you to a video of me showing you how to do one of these variations. For more videos and information, or if you've got a question, go to Benchmade.com and join us on the Benchmade forum community. That wraps up our video on the Benchmade 375. Can't get it out.